Okay, today we are going to learn how to regrip golf clubs. It seems like a complicated task. It seems like something you ought to spend a lot of money to have someone else do for you, but it's actually a pretty easy chore if you know what you're doing. So uh, let's get started. Hi there, this is Jay and I am a golf club repair technician. Uh, which basically just means that I'm a hobbyist and I know how to, re you know, I know how to put new grips on my clubs. No big deal. But I'm going to show you how to do it today. It's very simple. Uh, it only requires a little bit of time. It may seem like it takes a lot of time to do a, a full set of clubs, but it really uh, is quite quick once you know what you're doing. So today we're going to go through it step by step, and I'll show you what you need to repair uh, the grips, replace them with some really nice new grips and to get out there and uh, have a good feel of your clubs the way uh, they were when they were brand new. So let's get started. Okay, step number one. In order to put new grips on clubs, you need to have clubs that need new grips. I know this seems very obvious, but the fact is if your clubs don't need new grips, then you don't need to watch the rest of this video. Go watch something else. There's lots on YouTube. But in this case, these clubs do need new grips. How do we know they need new grips? Well, just look at them. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty obvious. They're all, you know, they've sort of lost their appropriate tackiness and they've picked up tackiness where they shouldn't be tacky. And they're just sort of worn down. So we're going to replace them today. All right, so what do we need to, to, what do, we need to do new grips? Well, as I said, the first thing we need are clubs that need new grips. That's pretty obvious. The second thing we're going to need, we're going to need new grips. Those are the new grips. Those are going to go on those clubs. So those clubs are going to get those grips. All right, what else do we need? Well, we have to have a way to take the old grips off the clubs so we have a grip removal tool. Works pretty cool. It's got a little hook on the end, a little uh, razor type hook. You can see that. And uh, as we get started here, we'll just take that uh, little hook and we'll rip down the, the grip and pull the old grip off. Pretty straightforward. Then we are also going to need a vise. Why do we need a vise? Well, I'm trying to cut down on the number of vices in my life, but this happens to be one that's pretty essential for club grip repair. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to hold the club steady while we put the new grip on. And then there's a little rubber insert. Did you see right here? See this thing? This is going to go inside that vise, and it's rubber, so it's going to protect the shaft. We don't want to uh, put any marks on the shaft of the club as we're repairing it. And a lot of vices, this particular vice happens to be plastic, so it probably wouldn't do any damage to it. But a lot of vices that are out there are metal, and you wouldn't want to put a metal vice uh, tight around a shaft of a club because that's going to uh, damage the, the shaft. So we use this little rubber insert, and this rubber insert will go inside the vase. The vase. Let's try the vise. It's going to go inside the vise, and that's going to uh, help hold the club steady and keep it from being damaged. You need some golf grip solvent. The grip solvent is available pretty much anywhere. Any a pro shop is going to have those. You'll be able to buy that at any of your, your chain stores. And uh, it is going to be uh, very essential to do two things. It melts the, the uh, sticky stuff on the grip tape, which I'll show you momentarily. And it also makes it nice and slick. So when you slide the new grips on, uh, the grips go on very easily and then uh, the air dries and you know uh, let it dry overnight and the next day the clubs will be all ready to go. And then finally you need some grip tape and there's the grip tape and it comes in rolls sometimes you get it in strips you can get it uh, from again any golf uh, pro shop or supplier any of the chain suppliers you can also order it online as a kit but uh, it looks like masking tape in a pinch you could actually use uh, double stick masking tape but uh, the, the uh, the actual double stick tape that is designed for grips is really the best stuff to use. And there's one more essential ingredient that you absolutely are going to have to have. Okay, we're about to get started, but there's one more component that you absolutely have to have. It's very important to make this job work perfectly. It's not just the parts that are going to go into the grip. You also have to have TLC. A TLC actually uh, stands for Technician Lubricant in Cans, and it looks like this. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have good technician lubricant. Uh, this happens to be a uh, Wexford Irish Cream uh, Ale, 
if you don't have uh, the TLC, the technician lubricant in cans, you could swap it out with TLBs, which is uh, technician lubricant in bottles. And it's always a great idea, if you can, to have some backup lubricant. Uh, so if necessary, you can always uh, you know, put an, a six pack of extra lubricant in the, uh, in the fridge and it'll be handy and it'll also make the technician very, very happy. Won't make the uh, process go any better, but it'll certainly make the process feel a lot nicer for the technician. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I've taken the first club and I put the first club in the vise. It's got the rubber insert in here to protect the shaft. Uh, I don't actually put the grip on while it's in the vise. I'm going to uh, show you how to put the grip on, uh, not in the vise, but I use the vise for the purpose of taking off the grip. So let's go up here to where the grip end is, and I've got the little the little hook that's going to go underneath and pull. And you could use uh, any sort of a razor knife if you wanted to remove this. However, be very very careful if you're not using an actual tool to remove the the grip that was designed for it you could actually damage the the shaft so if you use something you know like a box cutter or whatever just be very aware that when you start to cut this don't go all the way down through or you'll scar the uh, the shaft the the tools that are designed to remove the grips are rounded on the back and they're and they're not sharp so if you go up underneath the grip you're not going to damage the grip by putting it in and uh, and, and pulling on it so um, i just go ahead and and get it un hooked underneath there if i can get it hooked underneath here there we go and just start well oh. Interesting. This one's a tough one. Should just start. It should just lift right up. Try that again. There we go. Now we got it. So you just go ahead and pull it along here, and get the get it started. You can then pull it apart. And this one's a this one's a toughy. Go ahead and just pull a little tool right across and un undo it that way, and then you can separate it off. This is the hardest part of doing regripping is getting the old grip off. So there we go. Almost completely done. Gonna go a little bit further. Like that. And there you go. The old grip is off. This is actually harder than, than they usually are, uh, but uh, it, it eventually came off. Now the next step in this process is to get the old tape off. Uh, usually it'll just peel right off. If it doesn't peel right off, you might need to use a little bit of uh, uh, like paint thinner or denatured alcohol, something like that, to loosen up the glue. You could use Goof Off. If you're familiar with Goof Off, that's pretty easy as well. But basically what you're doing is, is taking off the old glue. So you got to get the old glue off, uh, obviously, to loosen up to be able to take the old tape off. You do want to take the old tape off. You don't want to re-grip over the top of the old tape because uh, a couple things. One, it makes it very difficult to put the new grip on because it's a little thicker. It creates a little extra thickness. And then also it could change the grip uh, diameter for your golfer because uh, you're putting an extra layer of tape on there. So you do want to try and take the old tape off uh, if at all possible. Uh, sometimes some of the grips, if it's been re-gripped, they use a cellophane tape, like a clear tape. It almost looks like scotch tape, double thick scotch tape. That's very hard to remove, but it's also not very thick. So if you if you find that uh, the, the previous grip job uh, did have that kind on it, then uh, then you probably could go ahead and, and uh, tape right over the top of that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the grip uh, tape, and we start by measuring how far down the shaft the grip is going to go. The grip is going to go up until about where those white lines are. They don't go all the way down to the end, of course. It gets up a little bit because it's uh, out of the thickness here. So we see how far we're going to go, which is going to be right about there. And so we're going to want to get tape measured from that spot to wrap all the way around to the other side. So we just go ahead and measure it here real quick. Go from there over to there and just take it off and pull it tight so there's no bubbles in it there and there and it's pretty much that easy then what we're going to do is uh, take off the paper this is double stick tape and so there's there's paper protecting it and of course if you have fingernails it works a lot easier I don't have fingernails but get it started here I should be able to peel it back there we go so we take off the paper paper's done go ahead and smooth it out so there's 
no wrinkles in it and uh, that grip is ready to go that tape is double stick tape one side of it of course is on the shaft the other side is up and then what's going to happen is we're going to take the grip and we're going to slide the grip on there but it's obviously very sticky now it's not going to slide on so we're going to use the grip solvent which is right here we're going to take this grip solvent and we're going to put some grip solvent uh, on the shaft we're also going to put some grip solvent down in the grip so this is uh, you notice that the grips have a hole in the bottom so to put your finger over that go ahead and take some of the grip solvent run the grip solvent down inside get a good good amount of it in there and then I take my other finger and kind of swoosh it back and forth you want to make sure that the grip solvent covers the entire inside of the grip if you don't get the grip solvent thoroughly inside the grip covering the whole area of the grip then the uh, part of the grip is going to be dry and it's going to catch it's going to make it more difficult to slide the grip on so get it down there pretty good and then I go ahead and just take the little excess and run the excess down on there and I might just put a couple extra put a couple extra squirts on there as well and then it's time to put the grip on so we just slip on here and start sliding it down the shaft and I usually just get it started a little bit and then I take it out of the vise because I find it's, it's actually easier to do if it's not in the vise uh, so I'm going to take it out of the vise and we'll continue once I get it out of there right, stop it. okay so what I do uh, because I've got to get a little bit of leverage on this it's hard to do that on a on a uh, vise um, you know you can do it but I find a little corner of of a building somewhere that's luckily in my garage I have a little corner here so I put the I put the head in the corner and then put my foot, uh, my leg on here to brace it so I don't bend it. You don't want to bend the shaft because you could break the shaft. So I put my, put my leg there to brace it and then just take my hand and start working, start working the grip down. So it goes on nice and tight. These are, they don't always go on this tight. These are having to be very tight grips. Um, but just start working, working down the shaft. Sometimes grips will just slip right on real easily. Sometimes if they're made a little undersized, which these are, they're a little more difficult. But just work it down slowly by slowly but surely. Slide it, slide it, slide it. And again, use that leg to brace the thing because you, you brace your shaft because you don't absolutely want to break the shaft by pushing down on it. So I push it down and eventually the grip will bottom out. Just twist it on a little bit. Eventually, if you look up here, uh, it's bottomed out. It's gone as far as it can go. It's not going to go any further down. So uh, that means it's down as, as far as it can go. The next thing to do is you want to align the logo. If there's a logo or if there's any sort of telltale arrow or anything on the grip that might indicate that that's where it should be on the top of the grip, then you want to align that. And that's just a matter of twisting it on the shaft so that it aligns. So right now, it looks to me like it is almost straight. So I look down the shaft, look, just go ahead and shoot right down the shaft there if you can. So you shoot down the shaft and you want that logo to be aligned with the face of the club. And it looks like that is there. And then one final check is we want all the grips to be pretty much the same length because they are spongy. So what you can do is you can compare it to one of the other grips, either to one of the older grips or to one of the, the grips that you've just done because you want each grip to end up the same length. And so it might be that it has to be stretched down a little bit or pushed back up again. But so you want all grips to end up when you're reshafted to be the same length. These actually worked out pretty well. They're about the same length. So that's it. Two done. Didn't take that long. Okay, job's all done. And uh, took only about uh, two hours, total elapsed time, get it all done. Here they are, 11 clubs. I think there's 11 clubs here. Uh, all taken care of. All done pretty easily. And uh, work is complete. You'll notice there's two extra grips. I usually, when I get grips to uh, regrip a set, I'll get a couple of extras. You never know as you're putting one on. Sometimes if they go on really, really tight, it might get stuck about halfway and you need to take it off and put a new grip on and start over again. And so having a couple extra grips, uh, you know, of the style that you're trying to put on uh, uh, is very helpful. You don't want to uh, end up short one or two clubs worth of grips because you ordered exact amount. So I'd always go ahead and get a couple extras and uh, did not need a lot of the uh, technician lubricant, only a couple of bottles in two hours, and they're all done. So there you go, all finished, and uh, 
pretty easy to do, so I encourage you to do your own grips next time. Take care.